Satnam. This is Ardas Carr, and I am back with you for our sixth Mantra Monday. So each week I'm bringing you a new mantra, a mantra that is a tool that you can use, you can chant to. It's a chance to experience the mantra, to move with it, to learn it, and to use it to help you each and every day. So today, I bring you into this beautiful space of the outdoors in my backyard. And I love doing our practices outside and it really feeds the practice by being in the elements, being in nature. It's what we all need right now. We need it more than ever. So let us tune in and then I'll share with you this very special mantra for today. So rub the palms of the hands together. Create some heat between the palm centers as the hands are an extension of our heart. And I want you to bring the hands into prayer mudra. Press the palms together, which creates a balancing effect in the left and right hemispheres of the brain and thus the body. Press the thumbs in and up at the sternum. Roll the shoulders back and down. Give yourself permission to drop your shoulders down away from your ears. And I want you to rise through the crown of the head. Now I'm sitting on the edge of a pillow. You can sit on a pillow and prop yourself up or on a bolster or even a yoga block. But with the spine straight, I want you to close the eyes. Roll your eyes up to that point between your eyebrows and slightly above that third eye. And with your eyes closed, sitting tall, shoulders relaxed down your back, I want you to take a nice big breath in through the nose and big breath out through the nose. As you inhale, I want you to fill the belly up, expand the belly and rib cage, expand the chest as you fill the lungs with this prana, this life force energy. And then as you exhale, let it go. Let the chest soften. Allow the rib cage to draw back in, navel to spine. Inhale deeply, take another breath in. Take in a new moment, a new thought. And then exhale, release and let that go. Inhale deeply. Expand, fill up, and exhale to empty out. Let go of what's no longer needed. And so let us tune in as we do in the tradition of Kundalini Yoga with the Adi Mantra. And the Adi Mantra is Ong, O-N-G, Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. I bow to the Creator. Ong is the creative consciousness, all that exists, the entire universe. Namo, I invite you in. Guru Dev, the light that is within you, the wisdom that's already within. Guru Dev, Namo, I invite you in, or I bow. Ong Namo, Guru Dev Namo, we chant this three times to begin our practice. Inhale deeply. Exhale, open mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> Good. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale, open mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> Relaxes the throat. Good. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> relaxes the mind and heart, brings you into a present place right here, right now. Inhale deeply to begin. Om Namo Guru Good day.
beautiful inhale deeply. Suspend the breath. Remain in the present vibration of this powerful mantra that begins our practice today. And then exhale, release the breath, release the hands. Feel free to bring your hands into Gion Mudra, the first finger and thumb touching. Rest of the fingers extended, palms facing up to receive. The mantra for today is Sat Narayan, Wahe Guru, Hari Narayan, Satanam. Sat Narayan, true sustainer. Wahe Guru, this indescribable wisdom. Hari Narayan, the creative source, Satanam. This is my true identity. So Sat Narayan, Wahe Guru, Hari Narayan, Satanam. Each mantra, each mantra has a particular effect on the mind, the body, the soul. And this one in particular allows us to go with the flow in our lives. It connects us to the water element. And you can imagine as water flows with ease and grace, without resistance, this mantra creates this for us. Allow this sacred current to flow with your breath as you move and as you warm up the spine and open up the energy centers known as the chakras. Feel this flow of love that moves through every chamber of your being, every chamber of your heart. Most commonly known as Sat Narayan, it is also called the Choti Pad Mantra, connecting us to the water element and helping us to flow in grace without resistance in our life. The more we can relax and allow ourselves to be in a state of non-resistance, the greater inner peace we can find within. This is a beautiful mantra to create space and peace inside. From this state of inner peace, then we can project outer peace. We can project happiness, joy, and good fortune for all. So let us begin and listening to this mantra as we move. Breathe it in. And I want you to remove anything you are seated on. As I'm seated on this pillow, remove it. Come right onto the earth with your sit bones. Practice this outside if you can, next to the water. And I want you to move the torso in one direction. I want you to breathe deeply. Let yourself connect with the energy of the earth in your root chakra, your first chakra, the muladhara. This is why doing our practice outdoors has a tremendous effect on the body, on the healing capacity of the mind. Feel your breath deepen with this movement. Next time you come front and center, pause. Take it in the opposite direction. Continue to breathe deeply. Making 
the movements as large or as small as it feels good to you. Just breathe deeply. Our root chakra, the base of our spine, is the foundation of our entire chakra system. It is this, this is the chakra that removes fear, insecurity, allows us to feel more grounded, strengthening our purpose, and why we're here. Beautiful, take a nice big inhale, grow tall through the spine. Exhale, slide the hands down, grab onto the shins, round the spine. Inhale, flex the spine forward, exhale, round the spine back. So let the shoulders remain neutral. Let them relax down. Let your chin remain neutral as well, parallel to the earth. Now I want you to take that breath and let the breath propel the motion. Begin to feel that natural flow and rhythm of the body and spine. Tap into your sacral chakra, your second chakra, known as Varistasana. Your creative chakra. This energy center that connects to the element of water, just like this mantra today. Water flows and moves, cleanses and clears. Close your eyes. See if you can connect to your own rhythm and flow. Beautiful, take a nice big breath in. Grow nice and tall, lengthen the spine, hold the breath at the top, contain it, and then let the breath wash over you as you exhale, feel it as it releases. Beautiful, inhale, take the arms wide and up, palms together at the top, exhale, take your left hand to your right knee and right hand behind you and twist. Inhale. Lengthen through your center. Exhale, take all that length with you as you twist in the other direction. Good, inhale. Exhale, twist to each side again. Beautiful, stay facing forward, inhale. Exhale, interlace behind your back. Stretch the arms away from the low back. What you're doing is you're bringing the shoulder blades closer together, which opens up the heart. And I want you now to begin to move from side to side. Inhaling as the heart turns left. Exhaling as the heart turns right. Lifting those hands away from the low back to your own degree. Powerful breath moving you from side to side. This strengthens the immune system. Releases toxins from the body, all while opening up the heart.
beautiful. Take the knuckles to the earth, heart to sky, big breath in. And as you exhale, lead with your heart, fold forward. Good, stretch your arms forward. If you're outside, get your fingers into the earth. Bow your head forward. And with your head bowing forward, I want you to set your intention for something in your life right now. Something with this mantra of Sat Narayan Wahe Guru, Hari Narayan Satanam. If there's an area of your life where you feel stuck, ask for this to move it. To cleanse it. If there's an area in your life where you need more peace, ask for it. Allow this mantra to penetrate within you and without, bringing you peace. When you're ready, walk the hands back. Good, I want you to swing your feet behind you into a tabletop position. And in that tabletop position, I want you to spread your fingers wide like starfish. Place them right under the shoulders. Bring your knees together underneath you, underneath your hips. Take a nice big inhale and lengthen your right leg back. Lift your heart forward. Good, and as you exhale, Knee to nose, round the spine. Good. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, knee to nose, and keep going. Keeping the elbows straight the whole time. And now inhale, lift the leg, lift the heart. Hold the breath. Good, exhale. And you can keep the leg lifted or you could drop the toes if you need to. Drop the toes, balance on the toes, but lift the heart. And I want you to do a breath of fire through the O-shaped mouth. So you're pulsing your belly, you're pumping the belly, navel in with each exhale. Your breath is as if you're blowing out a hundred birthday candles. Beautiful, inhale deeply through the nose. Lift the heart and leg. Exhale, bring the knees back together again. So you're strengthening your legs, your core. Right now, your Manipura, that third chakra, you're activating that important chakra at the center of your navel. Right behind that belly button. And that Manipura <clears throat> affects your confidence, your self-identity, your power, your ability to manifest. Inhale, lift the left leg high, lift the heart. Good, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, round the spine, knee to nose. And keep going.
And last time, inhale, lift. Keeping the leg lifted, or once again, to modify, drop the toes. Good. O-shaped mouth, breath of fire. Feel the pulse. With each exhale, navel draws in. Feel the energy at your navel center. Beautiful. Inhale deeply. Lift the leg and heart. Exhale and separate the knees wide. Bring your hips back over your heels in child's pose. Extend the arms. Good. Walk the hands over to your left. Maybe placing your right hand over your left, pull your right hip back and down. Let your head hang heavy. Good, walk the hands through the center. Over to the right, left hand over the right. Pull your left hip back and down. Good, walk your hands back through the center. Come back up. Now separate the knees, curl the toes under. Good, I want you to inhale, lift the heart and tailbone, exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Cat and cow. Cow is initiated by your first and second chakras and then it climbs up the spine and brings energy to the entire spine and every chakra, every energy center. Beautiful. Take a nice big inhale. Lift the heart and tailbone. Curl the toes under. Exhale. Lift the tailbone to sky. Downward facing dog. Triangle pose. You're creating that beautiful triangle with the body. Good. And I want you just to pedal the heels. Pedal the heels. And I want you to shake out the head. Let the head go. Really give it a nice shake. Beautiful. Now walk the feet forward. Good. Bring your hands to your shins. Feet are hip distance apart. Pull the heart forward. Exhale, slide the hands down. Fold forward. Soft bend in the knees. Inhale and rise all the way up. Stand nice and tall. Bring the palms together at the top. Good. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good, inhale, big breath in, lean back, exhale, bow forward, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, hands to the shins or fingertips right underneath the shoulders, exhale, Uttanasana, slide the hands down, fold forward, inhale, rise tall, this time as you stand tall, exhale, cactus the arms, pull the elbows back, feel your shoulder blades coming closer together, opening the heart, inhale, Reach for the sky, exhale, go right through your center, bow forward. Inhale, do it again. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise tall. 
Hook the thumbs as you exhale, lean over to your right. Beautiful, inhale. Exhale, lean over to your left. Good, inhale. And I want you to lean back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Toes out, heels in. And I want you to squat down. Balancing right here with your heels off the earth. Coming closest, closer together, touching if you can with those heels off the earth. Toes are in alignment with the knees, 45 degrees out. Fingertips on the earth. And I want you to do frog poses with me. Frog poses moves energy very, very quickly from the lower chakras that we were just talking about into the heart and higher centers. So inhale, straighten the legs, bow forward. Exhale, squat back down, head up. Do it again, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and one more for good luck. Inhale, hold the breath, squeeze Mulaband. When we squeeze Mulaband, that's the root lock, we simultaneously contract the muscles of the rectum, sex organs, pull the navel in. This directs the energy into the higher centers. Beautiful, exhale, heels to the earth. Feel grounded again, inhale as you roll on up. Rise on up, inhale, big breath in. And now exhale, and I want you to open up the elbows, cactus those arms, bring your hands into Gion Mudra. First finger and thumb, touching, rest of the fingers extended, now separate the feet. Separate them wider till they feel really comfortable and you feel really steady. You can bend the knees into that like horsey stance. And I want you to stay really stable at the base of your spine, your legs and feet. Good, as you now move the upper body, moving only the upper torso. Good, inhale left and exhale right. Now you are completely affecting your heart chakra, anahata. Opening up the front and back of the heart. This is one of those exercises that the more you do it, the more you crave it. and it will keep your heart center open. Healthy and strong. Beautiful, take a nice big inhale. Straighten the legs, pull the elbows back once again, as if you're wrapping your shoulder blades around your spine, big breath in. Hold, squeeze that mula band, pull in and up at the root, navel in. Beautiful, exhale, release. All 10 toes facing forward. Inhale, big breath in, exhale, interlace behind the back. Good, inhale, interlace the hands and stretch the heart to the sky, exhale, bow forward. Release. Now, I want you to take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes, and as you, or grab onto the ankles or shins. If you can't get the toes, that's okay. Inhale, lift the heart through the center. Exhale, lengthen over the right leg. Inhale, exhale over the left leg. Inhale and exhale.
beautiful. Now I want you to inhale, facing up, pulling through your center. Exhale, pull your crown to the ground. Inhale, exhale. Lengthening and strengthening the sciatic nerve, the longest nerve of the body. And beautiful, inhale up. Exhale, crown to the ground. Release on the next inhale. Exhale, walk the heels and toes back towards the center. Good. I want you just to sit on your heels. Maybe taking that pillow if you need, placing it underneath your buttocks to create a little more space, more comfort sitting on the heels or something soft under the tops of the feet. Good. Rest your palms down. I want you just to alternate shoulder shrugs. Close your eyes down. Notice how your shoulders feel. If they feel heavy or weighted down in any way, I want you to take your all your focus right now to your third eye, that point between your eyebrows. And I want you to see what it is that you need to let go of, to release off the shoulders, anything you're carrying around that no longer serves you. And as you inhale with both shoulders up, I want you to exhale, drop. And inhale, see it. Exhale, drop it with the shoulders. Beautiful. Take a nice big inhale, squeeze it up. Exhale, let it go. Let your chin drop to your chest. Take a moment to pause, reflect and be in gratitude. Give thanks for something or someone in your life right now. It brings a tremendous amount of peace, opens the heart. Good, and then I want you to take the, some nice gentle neck rolls, but breathing powerfully. Inhaling as the head goes back and around. Exhale as the chin moves across the chest. Good, and the next time your chin comes to the chest, pause, take it in the opposite direction. Breathing fully and completely as you move and open up the space of our fifth chakra, Vijuda, the bottleneck of the chakra system. you to speak your truth but with kindness with grace with authenticity to be an effective listener to learn to love your own voice
to speak with power and conviction. Beautiful. Next time your chin comes to the chest, take a nice big inhale. Lift it straight up in alignment with the body. Big breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. Good. Come up off the heels. Curl your toes under. Take the palms of your hands. Massage the low back. Press those thighs forward. See all the beauty as you look up. Lean back, lift your heart, open up your heart and throat. Let your head fall back last. Take your hands back to their own degree, maybe all the way to the heels, or maybe they remain on the low back. deeply and take one arm up and back exhale inhale other arm up and back exhale if your hands are on your low back keep one hand there Flow through this. Stretch the front of the thighs forward as you inhale. Feel graceful and open. Last time on each side. Beautiful. Now exhale as you help your way up and counter that pose, come sitting back, hips back over the heels, back into child's pose, but we're gonna take it one step further. Taking it to Guru Pranam, you're going to send the arms out, extend the arms forward. Bring the palms of the hands together. Elbows lift off the earth, third eye on the earth. And I want you to take a nice big breath in, big breath out. And on your next inhale, I want you to feel the vibration of Sat, your truth. Pull it all the way down to the base of the spine. And as you exhale, exhale to the sound or vibration of Nam and let that travel, your name or identity, up your spine, past your heart, past your throat, to your third eye. Inhale, Sat. Pull it all the way down to the base of the spine. Exhale, Nam, all the way up. Creating movement and space, freedom. One more time, inhale deeply. Take the sound of sat all the way down to the base of the spine. Pause, hold it for a moment. Feel it. And as you exhale, exhale nom. Let that sound and vibration travel up your spine to your third eye. And then I want you to walk the hands back. And I want you to come up and come back to seated. And as you come back to seated, I'd like you to cross your legs in your second most, le most favorite way. probably the one you like less because we tend to sit the same way crossing a lot of times in the same fashion do it in a different way good and now I want you to take a nice big breath in reach for the sky interlace your hands and stretch and interlace your hands and, and place the palms of the hands on the crown of the head and from here, I want you to inhale left and exhale right. Good. 
and hear the sound of Sat Nam just quietly within. Close your eyes and direct all your energy to the crown of the head where your hands are touching the crown of the head. Feel that soft breeze across your face as you do this. And I always like to think of this soft breeze as the breath of the divine, reminding us that we're never alone. In our times of struggle, in our moments of difficulty, when we are faced with challenges, we are never alone. And even when we experience joy and those moments of Wahe Guru, we are being celebrated with. Now come back to center. Inhale deeply. And I want you to lift the hands, keeping them interlaced. Lift them all the way up. Big breath in. Pull it up. Stretch it up. And as you exhale, open up the hands. Open them up and let the palms face up as you very slowly, very softly move them through your energy field. Moving from the third eye, your Ajna, to your crown, Sahaswara, And finally, this beautiful energy field all around you this protective field known as our aura. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely and bring it back to the heart. So now that we have warmed up the spine, we have opened up the chakras, balanced the chakras and got the energy moving through each and every one of them. Now we are ready to chant this mantra and we're going to be chanting it in the theme of these Mantra Mondays with celestial communication. Celestial communication is movement with mantra. When we move with the mantra, it has such a beautiful and quick, it's a beautiful and quick way of silencing the mind. It also brings us into this present moment because you need to be present in order to f move from one place to another with the hands and the arms and to stay with the chant. So let us do this. Sat Narayan Wahe Guru Hari Narayan Satanam. And this is how we will do it. So you're going to take the hands, send the water over the shoulders. Then you're going to move the uh, hands up all the way through the chakras. You're going to move the hands up. Then you're going to form a triangle and you're going to send that triangle out and you're going to open your eyes and stare through that triangle. So over the shoulder, palms facing up, bringing it through the chakras forming the triangle and moving it out, looking through that triangle. Beautiful. Then we're going to take the hands and we're going to take the back of the hands, swing them around, all the way around, back to the heart, prayer mudra. And I want you to bow. From prayer mudra, we bring our hands into lotus, where the 
Pinky fingers and thumbs are touching, palms of the hands, but all the rest of the fingers are extended and we rise up to the third eye with the lotus. And from the lotus, we take our hands into Gion Mudra, the mudra of wisdom and knowledge. We take the left hand and we swing it around our arc line and then we do it with the right. And after that, you place one hand over the other on your shoulders. And it feels very comforting. And from there, we slide them down to the heart. So it's over the shoulders, through the chakras, forming the triangle. Through the third eye, we see it. Back of the hands touch to come in towards the heart and we come into prayer mudra and bow from there we make the lotus and we take the lotus up to the third eye bringing in that wisdom of gion mudra left arm first wrapping it around your arc line right arm tracing it beautiful one arm over the other it doesn't matter which one place the hands over the shoulder as a reminder of being gentle with yourself and back to the heart. So let us do it with the music. Let us do it with the mantra. Flow from emotion to devotion as you chant this and move. Enjoy the ride, enjoy the process. Starting here. Just do the movements first before you chant. Do it with the mantra now. Sat Narayan Wahe Guru Hari Narayan Satana Sat Narayan Wahe Guru Hari Narayan Satana Sat Narayan Wahe Guru Hari Narayan Satana do it again look through your triangle then you can close your eyes again Keep going.
Satnam, Satnarayan Vaheguru, Hari Narayan Satnam, Satnarayan Vaheguru, Hari Narayan Satnam, Satnarayan
Place your hands, keep your hands over your heart. Bow to your heart, bow to yourself, bow to that peace that is within you, that is accessible whenever you need it. It's always there. Notice your energy. Notice how calm you feel following that meditation with movement, with mantra. Feel this peace that is yours to keep and allow yourself to relax into it throughout your day, throughout your week, so you can project that peace out, that happiness out, that joy and good fortune out to the rest of the world. And so let us close class, seal our practice. You've done a beautiful, beautiful job. Keep using that, practicing with it every day, chanting that mantra even when you walk or cook or drive. Use it with your children, with your animals. Bring peace to all. Let us close class by inhaling deeply and chanting one final Sat Nam, allowing that Sat to penetrate right out of that peaceful heart of yours into the world for all those to feel and experience. Inhale deeply. peace stay with you for a long time to come. Stay healthy, stay well, and create joy within and without. Satnam.